Hey everyone, today I want to talk a little bit about SharePoint and specifically on-premise licensing. So with SharePoint Online, it's a little bit uh, easier to license. Uh, you've got SharePoint Online Plan 1 and Plan 2, you've got them included in the suites. However, if you're going to be deploying SharePoint uh, on-premise, then there's some things you need to know. Uh, first of all, it's important to note that there are two Cal editions, so the server edition is, there's just one server edition for SharePoint that was consolidated a few years back. Uh, however, there is a standard and an enterprise uh, CAL or client access license that, uh, depending on what features of functionality uh, you need, will dictate uh, if you need standard or if you need uh, enterprise. Uh, InfoPath Form Services, Enterprise Search, PowerView, PowerPivot, Excel Services, and some others are all part of the enterprise CAL. So that's really important to, uh, to take a look at before you build out what your SharePoint uh, deployment is going to look like and what the licensing is going to look like. So it's going to make a very big difference for you. Uh, in addition to that, you know, SharePoint will work with SQL data. And when it comes to SQL, uh, this is something that trips up a lot of companies. Um, if you are on a server and Cal licensing model, then any user who has access to SharePoint or any application that uh, ties directly to SQL, um, they would need a, a client access license. So generally speaking, if you're going to make SharePoint available to everyone in your organization, uh, which is common, of course, then it usually makes sense to license that SQL server in the per core model, uh, depending on how many cores you have or how many users. There's a little bit of, of math uh, that you're going to need to do there, but that's something you need to take into consideration. Um, in addition to that, things like are you going to put project, is are reports from project uh, going to be, uh, you know, put on SharePoint, right? Those are things where, again, like SQL, if people are viewing those uh, reports, the data from project, from project server, then they would need a project Cal as well. So there's a number of things to take into consideration whenever you're licensing SharePoint. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to go into just figuring out the licensing piece. So make sure that uh, before you do a SharePoint deployment, that you've got all your ducks in a row when it comes to the licensing and there's no surprises after you've made deployment or after you're already working uh, at making that, um, making that deployment. So I hope this is helpful. If you run into any issues around SharePoint or if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave those in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.